Yep, numbers are rolling, great. So look, a couple of housekeeping things. We've got first, second, third, fourth string. One, two, three, four. Bottom top, if you like. Then we've got frets. This thing's called a nut. First fret, second fret, third fret, fourth, fifth. The dots should be on five, seven, and um, on you, I think it's here, yeah, ten and onwards. So five and seven are a big thing, though. That's good. Five, seven. Three, five, seven. Get used to that. First chord C, simplest chord really, one finger, yeah? Now we want to just make sure we've got the U somewhere so that this hand is free. So when I put a chord on, I'm not holding the weight of it, right? And then on the C chord, we're practicing this basic rhythm for this song, Can't Help Falling In Love, and it is going down, down, up, down, up, down. When we get into the song, we're probably going to have a change on each strumming pattern. So down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, all that sort of stuff. If you can get, find me an E minor chord in your book and just get used to changing between those two shapes, right? What I like to get people to do is just do the little ninja move of getting the fingers just to move in the left hand where they need to go, right? Warm up with that, start doing push-ups or something. Just get yourself activated with that. Then come back and try it. Down, down, up, down, up, down. So I've got that little moment before the next downstroke to change. Down, down, up, down, up. Yeah? yeah? And then if you get brave, you can try going to an A minor chord. Fourth string, second fret, Second finger. Okay, so maybe just that. I think that's all we covered. You seem to be finding a pretty nice touch with this finger and with it, you know, a lot of people just use their finger or they can use the, the thumb for the down and the finger for the up. If the finger feels good doing both, I would stick with that, man. That's fine, that's all we need. As long as we're just moving from that knuckle and not doing this business. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. And for the tuning, um, you should stay in tune. I'll just give it to you every week, the tune. Yeah, but if you go dramatically out of tune... Just experiment with, you know, which that takes it lower, that takes it higher, right? Just get your ear tuned in a little bit if you need to. Have a go, but don't be afraid to have a go at tuning it yourself, right? sound pretty close to that. All right, you got it, good.